going to come out in about a year, I, and I hope that people like it. Yes. Not, not, for, not for the untouchable. I, when I was a kid, I'd see Marty around the area that Marty lived in, and I hung around it. And, uh, and then later we got to, together, um, maybe 10 years after that, with um, a, a mutual friend named Jay Cox, who was a film critic for Time magazine. He brought us together. Uh, yeah, and we would, <clears throat> and he had done it that by that time, uh, Who's That Knocking and other films, but that I remembered uh, specifically Harvey Keitel was in it, and uh, I liked it a lot and told him that, um, uh, you know, it was a terrific film, and he understood that world, um, and so then I guess we, would, we might have started talking about mean streets that he was thinking of doing. And that's how it all started. And I always felt bad about his, he had a back problem that made him. In our case, we had, we were trying to get the Irishman or her Japan houses uh, made. We, it's just there was there were uh, financial requirements that in order to make the movie the way we wanted to do it to be met and um, Netflix came across and in a way that was easy. They didn't uh, they didn't hound us. They didn't do anything. They were very respectful and uh, so I was um, we were all happy that this could happen. From my experience as an actor going for a part, you might feel, well, I don't know if I want to go, they're not gonna, I'm not gonna get it, it's just an open call, at least have a, what you call an open call, a lot of actors would stand online, wait, hand in their resume and so on. I just, I'd say as if I'm talking to American actors or actors in England or here, if there's a movie happening to go, always go and be, uh, always um, try your best, keep at it. <laughs>